Hi, I'm the Recruiting Maven and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic of conversation is what is the difference between artificial intelligence and robots? Now, most people think they're the same thing and in certain occasions there is a little bit of a crossover, but not typically at this point in time. So artificial intelligence is something that we use pretty much every day. So if you're out and about uh, using any kind of map, you know, driving maps, so Google Maps or Waze, that's artificial intelligence, series, um, anything to do with uh, security, security surveillance, credit card fraudulence, um, those types of things are going on, whether you're using them yourself or maybe a larger corporation is using that technology, that is artificial intelligence, right? So robotics is something that is shown externally, meaning a physical presence, not just an algorithm being written, you know, to be able to find, you know, maybe a credit card fraud, um, which is a little different, right? So we've recently seen Atlas, um, hashtag uh, Boston Dynamics. So if you've seen him doing a backflip and, you know, for people that don't know, he actually has been around for quite a while. Um, so it's not new technology by any means, but certainly it, it is something that's going to continue to develop. And I'm sure that at some point there will be that crossover of artificial intelligence and who knows, they may already have done that, but you know, not every company is going to disclose everything, right? So with that said, uh, two types of robots. So you have an autonomous robot versus a semi-autonomous robot. Um, just to give you an idea of the difference, so a semi-autonomous robot is one in which it needs human assistance. So um, the Predator drone, which is used by the military, um, cannot deploy its, um, it, its, its weapons unless it's directed by a human being. Um, it also needs some flight information as well, so where to go, um, and then after that it pretty much is you know, self-driving, right? <laughs> and I don't mean that literally, but I guess it would be literally. Um, and then you have the autonomous side of that, where, you know, you look at the factories in whether it's just manufacturing, a manufacturing floor, like, um, you know, a motor company, so they're building cars, or there's other types of manufacturings where you see those giant arms that actually, you know, package things, um, wrap uh, products together, um, so um, that's in and of itself an autonomous type of robot. And I think um, from some of the feedback I've been getting on my Facebook with my Facebook followers has been pretty interesting um, as there's been a massive confusion. So I just want to take a little bit of time to just really make sure that we're understanding the technology because I don't think that uh, one, the media does a very good job of doing that, um, of making people aware on a very everyday type of level. I mean, it's great to, to see Atlas um, performing a backflip and I thought that was phenomenal. Um, however, I don't think that most people understand um, what the fourth industrial revolution is, um, how it's affecting our lives, and how it will affect our lives within the next three to five years and beyond that, and our children. Um, so I just wanted to make you aware. If you have any questions, please make sure that you uh, make a comment in the in the uh, box below. I will include all of my um, social media links if you need to find me. I do some career coaching as well. And um, so if you're in need of that, I'd be happy to help you with that. Um, I just appreciate you watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate if you did. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.